Hong Kong, the USA, Japan and here in Australia as well. They were the brainchild of Simon Cowell, have been running uh, for 15 years now, wowing audiences and stadiums all over the place. They've sold more than 30 million albums and had 50 number one singles and they've toured the world four times. I do want to welcome you gentlemen, this is Il Devo. Hello. Hello. Hello, welcome back to Sydney. Now it's been a while since you've been here. David, how long has it been since you've been in Sydney? Um, I think it's been, what, six years since the, the last time we came here touring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it feels like forever. Oh, well, we're so pleased you're back. We're very happy to be back. We have a very warm winter at the moment, but you're going to be touring in, in October, aren't you? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. We're going to be here in October. Before October, we're going to be in uh, Japan everywhere. But yeah, we are very happy to be here again. And then we're going to do a fantastic tour uh, with this last album called Timeless. We're going to have uh, beautiful dancers, uh, uh, a big orchestra on stage. And we're going to be in interacting with the video and, and the audience. going to be really, really great. Sounds very good. Now, you guys have been in, uh, in together for 15 years now, but you were put together. You weren't originally friends who put together a group. Uh, Sebastian, what, what is it that, uh, apart from a fantastic professional attitude, what is it that held you guys together for 15 years? That's a good question. Humor <laughs> is, uh, I guess, the number one passion for music. We're all very passionate musicians. So I guess that's kind of what keeps us going you know wanted to do what's best for our band and what's we, what we're going to do what we're going to present to our audience and obviously what keeps us together also is the fans you know that keep showing up and wants to hear our music because without them we'll stay home <laughs> yeah, <fair enough. laughs> so we're pretty lucky to have loyal fans here in australia yes they do love you here and what is different about this particular album that you're promoting during this tour because this is your eighth studio album i think uh number nine actually number nine uh this album is very particular for us uh we're especially proud of it because we've parted with the record company about one and a half years ago just because this relationship kind of had run its course so you've moved to Decca now right yeah but it was even different because we actually recorded this album and administered and a and would it completely on our own ah. we were in a vacuum there we did not have a record company Decca came on board when the album was all finished and we struck a distribution deal with them but everything you see in here on this whole timeless album and tour is directly from the four of us with a hundred percent creative control and that's just because after parting with the record company we thought you know what there's nobody in the world that knows more about el divo than the four of us Yes. So let's just carry on with this the way we think it should be. And to be honest, I'm very proud of what we've achieved. I think it's a fantastic album and the tour, as Carlos mentioned, is going to be, it's a very entertaining, very beautiful show. And I think people will enjoy it very much. So when you started to be producing this now, what is it that you found was really different in the creative process of, of putting together the music? I think the, the biggest difference is getting our heads around um, the structuring of, uh, of the music. It's one thing to be um, the voices on it and to be, you know, kind of um, working as, as from an artistic mentality. Uh, it's a whole other thing um, to get into the, uh, the structure of things, of uh, getting into making decisions about who's going to make the arrangements, where on the scale of classical and pop do we want to have those arrangements. Each song is going to kind of call out for a different uh, type of presentation. Um, for example, when we, when we sing Hola, and uh, that has a much more, a much more electronic samples that go along and accompany with the orchestration versus uh, Grazia More Mio, which is just full orchestra. And that's, you know, each song calls for a, a different thing. So getting our heads around what's going to best serve the music and looking at it from from that standpoint, from the standpoint of compiling an album that's going to have a f an, an ebb and flow and take our listeners on a journey. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's have a listen to one of the pieces from the album. I think mm. you, the one you said, the Grazia Amore Mio, sounds like a really good place to start. <laughs> so let's, let's have a listen to that one. 
originally written for the 1970 movie Love Story, which had Ali McGraw and Ryan O'Neill in it, but translated into Italian, Grazie Amore Mio, and uh, it's recorded on the fabulous album Timeless, which is by Il Divo, the group that I have with me in the studio at the moment. And that I noticed also is on number one on Amazon and iTunes, and so it's really going well. Just this week is really taking off. It is, uh, absolutely. I mean, we, we were really surprised. I mean, it has been a long time there that we didn't see those those number ones again and, and, and yeah, everywhere. Even him right now also, we, we just heard from from Japan, we're number one. So, uh, so yeah, it's an amazing experience. I mean, we are we're really proud, as as Ur said, I mean, being uh, being the producer, that we have done absolutely everything. And isn't suddenly you you have the prize, the reward to, to be number one. That's amazing. It's like you've spread your own wings now, yeah. right? Yeah, you're not, not, not relying on anybody else now. Tell me a bit about Japan. So you've got 10, 10 concerts in Japan. Um, why is there 10 there? Are they absolutely crazy about you guys? They really like us, yeah. <laughs> um, I wish I could tell you what the secret behind the success of our band is. Um, we often get asked the question, um, they're just, we've been going to Japan forever and they seem to love what we do. And yeah, I'm, I don't have the straight answer to this question. I just know that we just you have secret keep adding sauce. dates and <laughs> it, they keep selling them and it's like wonderful you yeah. know that coming back here we got seven dates here in australia and um hopefully we will beat japan pretty soon oh aha uh -huh. <laughs> get some more in here that sounds exactly. like a good idea yeah yeah and how is the live program changing now that you've done your own album how do you think you're going to change your concert as well well it is actually for the first time that the whole new album is incorporated in the show so you're gonna hear all the 10 songs that we've recorded for timeless you're gonna hear those live within the show but of course you're also gonna hear all the all-time favorites of El Devo because all the people who've been listening to they us they would for not 15 tolerate years, you not singing them right exactly they want to hear the regress <laughs> they, they want to hear the my way they want to hear the somewhere and we're going to give that to them but above all that we have got solo numbers in there again we've uh, done that once before in Amori Passion two years ago and uh, it is a very positive thing it gets uh, shakes the whole program up very nicely you know gives a breather to each of us as well you know three of us go off stage and one sings a solo number mm. and it also gives us a uh, got more scope for expression haven't yeah you? exactly yeah. because each of us we have chosen our own solo number in a very personal way something that means something special to us and when we interpret that and give that to the audience it's a very special a very personal moment lovely yeah great so this this album is about lots of favorite songs from all around the decades isn't it Yes. Um, so you have Charlie Chaplin's smile right, in there. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we, we, in trying to figure out what we wanted to present uh, in this moment of uh, being self-producers, um, we were actually taking our cues from uh, the comments that we've uh, gotten from the fans, and one of the words that kept coming back was, your music is timeless. Ah. And we thought about that, and that, that kind of has Il Devo timeless. Okay, that's got a ring to it. So we thought, well, okay, well, let's just figure out what that even means. So looking back over kind of the amazing wealth of uh, music to choose from, we thought, all right, well, let's let's turn timeless into about you know the different eras of of music and what they all represent, and and kind of going back to the beginning of recorded music, um, in terms of uh, you know going back to the Charlie Chaplin in the forties, unforgettable and popular yeah. popular music, yeah. yeah, unforgettable from the forties and and you know fifties, sixties. So we all kind of did our own homework and created a list of like five to ten songs from each decade, from each decade yeah. and put those four pages on the table and said, all right, well, where are the commonalities? Any, any song in any decade that got two or three mentions immediately made the short list. And we just kind of whittled it down until we had those ten songs. Mm. And um, 
the idea was to then take those songs and and bring them into our musical universe, um, which is a put your very, stamp on it. Put our stamp on yeah. it. Yeah. And in doing so, we realized that our musical universe is actually has a lot of variation. It's not just you know you start here, you end there. Um, putting it into different languages, trying out different languages to see which one, which feel um, lends itself better to the expression of, and and as I said before, like, you know, how far on the spectrum do we go between orchestral and pop music and, uh, and just giving it an intrinsic timeless flavor mm. and which it's 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 not as easy as i make it sound um but yeah it's uh, i i feel like we we've, we've been able to kind of show through this album that our style really is inclusive as opposed to it probably showed that to you as well didn't it that you've you've all had this style that's been kind of fed to you at the beginning and then you started to make it more your own and more your own and more your own mm -hmm. and now you're finally able to do it completely your own absolutely that you can that's see exactly you can look it. back and see for yourself how it's grown mm -hmm. that's yeah. that's exactly right yeah so we've got this album which everybody's going nuts for at the moment buying like crazy and it's number one everywhere and we've got you coming back here to sydney on the 25th of mm -hmm. october and you're going to be in our new convention center it's only just recently being rebuilt so it's oh, fantastic, great. yes. That's in Darling Harbour on the 25th of October. And we've got 10 double passes to give away. Oh, which ah, is fantastic. <laughs> oh, wonderful. It's just it's so very generous. So for listeners who are interested to going along and seeing Il Divo, seeing these fabulous guys with their all the songs from their new album, Timeless, uh, give us a call on 94394777 4777 and leave your name and your email address. You'll go into the draw at 10 a.m. and we'll be drawing 10 very lucky names who will be getting the double passes to go along and see the concert. Thank yes. <laughs> <laughs> Especially the ladies for Carlos. Exactly, single one. Exactly. Oh, yeah, right. Imagine. There we go. Oh, they'll be lining up for you, Carlos, I'm sure. Yeah, I can give something else if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Always at the ready. Such a professional. <laughs> Thank you, guys, for coming in. It's, it's been wonderful having a chat to you. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Lovely. Thanks. Back to you, Robert.